Dylan Cease in the South Side jerseys ready to roll against Miami. When we saw Dylan Cease and Louisa Rise get together back in September of last year, there were two out in the ninth inning of a possible no hitter and a rise broke that up against Dylan Cease and a rise the leading hitter in Major League Baseball opens today. He took the drama out of it this time with a base hit to start the game. That slider is the one he wants him to swing at and strike out number one struck him out middle middle fastball in the air center field. Robert Jr. makes the catch. For the Marlins tonight, they give the ball to the 20 year old Iori Perez, his sixth major league start, coming off his third win. Giving up no earned runs last 10 innings. There's a pitch timer violation as we come out of that, and it went against the pitcher Perez. This into right center falls anyway. Davis flags it down on a hop. Tim Anderson has a leadoff double on a 1 0 count on the first pitch he saw. Ball Huntsward left center. Davis calling off the left field Dana Cruz for the first out. He strikes out Robert. Oh, look at that curveball right there. Two away after the leadoff double his first strikeout tonight. Two two. And he got him to chase the curveball. Fortez smothered it. Throws to first to complete the strikeout. Here at Cooper will lead things off for the Marlins here in the second. Two two curveball broke his heart. First looking, there you see some great rotation on a knuckle curveball. First pitch swing in the air to left, Benintendi, two gone. 2-2 two -two pitch is strike three. Got him with that nasty slumber. The inning is over. Corey Perez, five swings and misses in the 12 pitches in the first inning. Had 10 swings and misses in his last start against Oakland. There is a slider in strike three, so these two pitchers have combined for seven strikeouts so far. The spin is so tight and the break is so late that it makes hitting him pretty tough, and he's very accomplished for a 20 year old. As that ball is crushed by Yasmani Grandal, right field side, and it's gone. The Sox will get it done if the long ball can take him there. It looked like it had pretty much of the whole plate. It was down, and Yaz didn't get all of it, but he certainly got enough of it. Sox on top, one to nothing. Here we are in inning number three, and a first pitch way upstairs to Fortes, and he pushes to right center, and Robert runs it down to start the third inning. So one down for Jonathan Davis, 31 year old who came over a couple of weeks ago in a trade with the Tigers. On a hop to short and no throw. Oh, look out. Tough slide for Jonathan Davis over there at first base. I think he's just looking back to see if Anderson made a play on him. On the ground, right hand side, Elvis Andrews gets over to make the play. There are two gone with Davis to second. Three and two. Oh, yeah, guess what? He throws him on the fastball. Andrews batting 190. For the White Sox. And the next offering is hit to third. Segura to his knees. Bobbles it, throws it to first. It's in and out of the glove of Garrett Cooper. Ball is rolling in foul territory down the right field line. Andrew safe at first. He also takes second. Garrett Cooper is hurt on the play. The throw from Segura was up the first base line towards home plate. And Garrett Cooper had that left arm smashed right backwards. So here's Tim Anderson, who doubled in the bottom of the first. And the first pitch he sees is blooped in the air. Shallow right field on the run. Sanchez, he won't get it. Andrews goes to third. Tim Anderson is on at first with a single. Runner goes. Fortes will just hang on to it. Stone base for Tim Anderson. Bases are loaded. Nobody out here in the third. One and two, it's a slider for strike three. Line caught by Segura, went up to get it. Terrific play by Segura, that was headed for the corner. Trying to work out of the bases loaded, no out jam. And the pitch, one on hit in the air, center field. Jonathan Davis is underneath it. Yuri Perez is out of the third. With the bases loaded and nobody out, the White Sox come up empty. Joey Wendell, this is his 16th game career against the Sox. He has 17 hits against the Sox. Wendell, fly ball, right field, going back. This game is tied. Joey Wendell with a solo home run. A 
Cease was coming inside just a little bit much, and Wendell got a slider. You know, Wendell just dropped ahead of the bat. Tanner Scott has been outstanding. Last 13 appearances, scoreless. When he's throwing strikes, he's nasty. He's a lot of times unhittable. When he's painting the corners like that, 9-7. to seven. Freezes Moncada for the first out. Berger is down on strikes for the third time tonight. On the ground, base hit. Yeah, this is perfect tonight. He's three for three. As this is blooped into short right field by Frazier and down for a hit. A parachute from Frazier. Rondal into third, and the Sox have two on with two out. Right side on a line, and Guriel. Ends the inning. And Miami goes to Andrew Nardi on for the 32nd time. His ERA a little above two and a half. Nardi strikes out Grandall. 3-2, two, two outs, runner goes. Nardi gets the strikeout. This one stays tied. We're in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's Miami one and Chicago one. Line drive into right center base hit. Elvis is on in a heartbeat. Oh, that one gets away. Fortes had no shot. Elvis to second. 3-2. Swing and a miss. Slider. Well, they intentionally walk Andrew Benintendi, and they do that, uh, of course, to set up the force at any base with Luis Robert at the dish. On the ground. That's fair, and that is that. See you later. Sox win. Just like that, a tough and tight game ends with a double down the left field line. But we'll watch it again. It's a hanging slider, unlike the ones to Tim. This one does not dart outside. It stays over the middle of the plate, and getting Luis out in the strike zone has proven to be very difficult over the last month. And that is how the Marlins' longest win streak of the year comes to a close. They had won six in a row entering the ballgame, but a walk-off win for the White Sox, their third in a row at home.